again. to Mr. Moto's place to see what he knows about this guy. I'm going to show him this picture in here. All right, I'll stay here to see if I can find anything else. Right. To grow stronger in the ways of the ninja, one must continue to build his spiritual force. To break the board, the power and speed must be focused on one point. The eyes must see through the object, and the punch should be striking the air on the other side of the object. This one must do to grow in strength and dexterity.
Lieutenant, I must thank you. I owe you a big favor. Well, you can pay me back the favor by telling me why this man died and why he was trying to kill you. He has died. I did not know that. Well, could you tell me why he died and why he was trying to kill you? I know not how he died, but I may be able to tell you why. See, if he killed me, then he would be able to get my medallion. What medallion? It is a secret medallion that tells where the sacred treasure of the ninja is. Wait. I may be able to tell you who killed him. Who? He was a student of mine. I can't recall his name, but I had him expelled from my class, for he used the way of the ninja to destroy and not to defend. Well, well, Mr. Moto, I've got to go. But wait, I'm not finished with my story. I, I have to go, Mr. Moto. Moto, age 33, height 5 foot 7 inches. General description, blonde hair, blue eyes, male, pageant 55, burns on his left side. Hmm. Mr. Moto was born in Japan in the early 14, 1940s. He stayed there until he was 20. He learned in Jitsu and became a master and a teacher of martial arts. He came to America and lived there for three years. Later, he returned to Japan. There he lived in the slums of Japan and was spotted many times in the lower outback of regions 
for the country. The next seven years are unaccounted for. The next seven years are accounted for. Then you return to America. What'd you find out? What do you got? Well, this printout says that Mr. Moto was born in Japan and stayed there until he was 20. Mm -hmm. During that time, he learned martial arts and became a ninja. Ooh. Then he came to America and lived there for three years, and then he left for eight years. Eight? And then the eight years he is unaccounted for. Is there a break in the computer system? No, all the information came through. Great. Um, my figure, hmm. Hey, wait a minute. You got something? He has a medallion, a medallion that has, it's a ninja treasure. And he can find the treasure if he can read this crypt on the medallion correctly. Mm-hmm. So, what does that mean? Well, I figured that he was looking for the ninja treasure since he always had the medallion. Ah. Then he lied to me. He lied. No one lies to me and gets away with it. Well, calm down. You don't even know if it's true yet. Ah, oh, shut up. Hey, wait a minute. Where are you going? I'm going over to Mr. Moto's. Mr. Moto. Lieutenant, I see you have returned for the review. You lied to me. You found the secret treasure of the ninja. You lied. You found it with your medallion. I find you to be in the wrong, Lieutenant. I would strongly suggest that you leave right now. Stolen my secret medallion of the secret ninja treasure. Yeah. It is known that once uh. the original owner of the medallion is separated from the medallion, the two ninja must have oh. the sacred battle to see who will finally own the medallion. Unita. The medallion is finally mine. Once I rid myself of Mr. Moto, I will be able to continue the search for the ancient ninja treasure. I will win.